Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can convert and import a vehicle to the Unreal Engine. So for example we have the scene here and this is a car that's just a static mesh and we want to convert it to a drivable car. So the first thing we have to do is be sure that you have imported or add the feature content pack for the vehicle. So when you hit play, you are in the basic vehicle and we want to replace this with our new car. So first of all, we take this car here and open the blueprint here. So from this level, here's a construction script, but everything we need is this static mesh here, as you can see when we go to the details. So let's open this up. And as you can see, this is just the yeah, the car without the wheels, without the doors and everything. So let's export this. So we have to export this. So let's open this up. And we go to the asset actions and say export. The same thing we do with this wheel here. So we, we just need one wheel, that's enough. So the same thing, asset actions and export. So for the second part, we need Blender. You don't have to use it so much. So even if you don't know Blender, it's okay. You don't have to use it so often for this. So the first thing is you delete these parts here. You don't need them. And we go to the file, import, FBX. So we import our car and we delete the UCX. And as you can see, this is our car that we exported. So the first thing is you see this red um, line and the green line. So be sure that the car is go to the red um, line. So for this, we go to click it on. And here you have these um, object properties and we go to the rotation part and add 90 degrees to the Z. And as you can see now it's lined up with the red line here. So that's the first part. The second part is we go again to import FBX and import a wheel. As you can see, same thing, we delete the UCX because we didn't need it. And now what we have to do is replace this right here where the wheel belong. Of course, you have to rotate it, it, minus 90, as you can see. And then you just place it at the right place. So I skipped the copy process. As you can see, every wheel is on place. So the next thing we need is a plugin. I put the link in the description. You go to Edit, Preferences, and then you go to the Add-ons, and then you hit Install. Just search for the zip file and just yeah hit OK. And then you should get the Unreal Engine generic as you can see, and you just hit it. And then you should find it under here. So here's the items tools and here's the Unreal Engine vehicle plugin. So it's pretty cool. So the only part you have to do is you hit the vehicle base. So you hit this one. So this is the vehicle base. This is the front wheel. So front right. You hit this here, back right, front left, go hit this one here and behind left. Great. Then you go to set unit scale, upscale object, yeah, it will be much bigger and then you say rig vehicle. So it should be look like that. And as you can see, he is now converted it at the bones and everything. So the next part is we just export it. So we go to file, export, FBX. So inside the export settings, we just select the major and mesh. Then we 
mobility forward, mobility x forward, z is up, apply units and use transform, the geometry is face and the rest you can keep and then you just export it. We go back to our Unreal Engine here and then we just say import to game. We select our FBX that we exported, check the skeleton mesh, import the mesh, leave the skeleton to none and the rest is be the same. Be sure that the material search location is all assets, convert to scene and we hit import all. So what can be happen is as you can see he lost all the materials. So that can be happen if you export and import it to the Unreal Engine but there's no problem if, with this so it's pretty easy to fix that. You go to the original car here and as you can see here are the original materials so I open this up as well and then you just go to the materials. This is the with first material so you go back to our car and you just put it right here and you do this with every material. So I skipped this process so as you can see now the material is fixed. So the next part is we have to fix the physics asset. So open this up. As you can see the physics is not very well. So let's delete everything here and then we go to the options show all bones and we start with the root. So this will be the, yeah, I put it to multi-convex and when you add it, it looks pretty good. Then we select every reel here, take the sear and add. Yeah, it looks pretty good as well. So compile this, we have fixed this as well. So we have a skeleton, we have the physics and we have the skeleton mesh. So the next thing we need is an animation blueprint. So we go to right click animation, animation blueprint. We select the vehicle animation instance and we select our car skeleton that we imported. Hit OK. This will be our Firebird animation blueprint in my case. Open this up. So the first thing we need is an wheel handler looks like that put this inside here we will convert it to component to local and we need a mesh reference pose put this inside here and we are done here so compile and save this we can close this and now we create a blueprint so open this up blueprint class and this will be the wheeled vehicle. This will be our Firebird. Open this up. So the first thing is we go to the details and we select our mesh here. So we put our mesh that we imported like that. Then we select our animation blueprint that we created. This one here. Then we go to the vehicle movement. And we have some changes here. So we have already the wheel setup. So we have to fill up these bound names here. So that's the front left. Then we have the front right, the back left, and the back right. And of course, we disable the steering for the back ones. And now we need the wheel class. So we hit right click blueprint class, type in wheel. And this is the vehicle wheel. So let's call this fire bird wheel, open this up and we have to change the shape radius in my case. So we have to play around, otherwise the wheels will be inside the street. So that looks pretty stupid. So in my case, this is 41. So compile and save this. And now we can use this here in our firebird. So let's select the firebird for every wheel like that. So the last part is we add up a spring arm like that. Put this up to here. And of course we need the camera. And 
put this as well up here. Select the spring arm and hit the use pawn control rotation. Like that. So let's place this up here. Great. So let's go to the event graph. We need some functions here. And the good part is as we import the sedan, we can just copy and paste the steering input as well as the handbrake input just to the firebird like that. So in the last part we need is we say turn the axis event, go from the axis value and say add control jaw input. Great. Compile and save this. And the last part we have to do, we go to the settings, project settings, maps and modes, and the default pawn class will be our firebird. So I add up a few more things. So as you can see, I add up the right door, left door and the steering wheel. That's all static meshes, just to make it more realistic. And when we now hit play, looks pretty good. Can turn around and yeah, works pretty good. Can use the steering, great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.